This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, get your time. Don't give up what you want, take your time. Wait for the perfect Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 604. Tuesdays, we've been celebrating professional wrestling on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter in the Beachview, uh, Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. We got a great crew here ready to rock and roll. Uh, first with us, of course, Larry is with us, <laughs> representing representing for our guest right there. We'll get to that in a moment. But also uh, with us is the only one on the Mayhem show who is once uh, that has a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is mad. Mike? This is true. Sorgelstein. I'm very excited to be here tonight. And, of course, our guest. He got a little preview there of uh, some, some swag that he brought us. Matt Light. Comedian extraordinaire, where yeah. no 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 uh, 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 comedy club promoter is safe. <laughs> that is true. That is true. You may have seen Matt on the internet. Yeah, because uh, there you, you have a couple viral videos out there for those that might not be aware. Are yeah, you, or, I, d- I did. Uh, I did a uh, Stone Cold Stunner to the GM of the club. Uh, I cho- I choke slammed a female host who was ninety eight pounds through a table. And I also jumped off a ladder onto a fake Bill Peduto. I witnessed that one live. <laughs> Thank you for the heads up to come to that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and, and by the way, sporting Shawn Michaels gear the entire show. Oh, yeah. It said the Pittsburgh kid on my pants. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, you <laughs> got to do it. <laughs> That's why we got you. You know, we don't have a wide shot, but he is right, be, right by our, our oh, uh, uh, Shawn Michaels here in the studio. I'm taking it. You're taking it. <laughs> I have to. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Look at him. In, in his prime, in his prime, with the with the heart crotch and everything. Look and the, and, the and the those long earrings with the crosses. Mm-hmm. Like the only one else I knew that could pull those off. Or remember Rocky's son when he was trying to be a bad guy. He had one. Yeah. Like, those are cool, man. I got to get some of those. It's, a, it's amazing his ears didn't rip off like mix. Oh yeah. Awesome. Um, and by the way, let's say I love it. I love it when the guests get, bring gifts. I really do appreciate this. So, the, of course, we, if you're on video, we saw that the video of the you you have your own foam finger. Yeah. Of course, it's that finger, right? Yeah. Of course, that uh, Larry is uh, holding there. Light four one two. Yeah. Love it. Uh, but also, this is this is a, I, I I forget you opened for Honky what? Talk Man, right? Yeah. Yeah. He busted a uh, guitar over my he head signed. too. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he says hi- hello. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> that or I'm hurting for money. I that, forget yeah. what he said. <laughs> what? That, that's the price for the autograph. <laughs> oh boy, I've heard some Honky Talk Man stories. He wasn't that's bad. Sure. It was just funny though because like I never thought uh, at any point he would be texting me on a daily basis. Like, he, but it wasn't like, hey, how are you doing? It's like. Hey, can you book me in New York? Like, Ithaca, <laughs> New York. I'm like, no. Hey, so, don't. so Honky thinks that you're the booking hookup. Yeah. Yeah. Because he knows that I went on tour with Rob Van Dam. Okay. And he's like, oh, yeah, we could we, we could do well. I mean, Rob did this. I could. I'm like, you can't do what he did. You know what I mean? Just because it's a different it's a different atmosphere. And plus, like, the whole time, like, were you at that show? No, I didn't make these, no. So all he did was just talk about how Jake the Snake's on crack. <laughs> Literally for like That's an it. hour. So so it's kind of like the McFoley show, but less interesting, right? Yeah, yeah it was like with a GED instead of. A, oh, no. Yeah, oh no! So what? So for those that don't know, if, if this hasn't come to your town or anything, so Rob, so of course Honky's doing this. Um, Rob Van Dam's doing a, com- a comedy show officially. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. he won't do. He won't tell stories really. It's yeah. he wants to be like that dry humor, that Stephen Wright style okay. one liners. Okay. And it's interesting because he's a guy that, you know, from his background in WWE, he never cut a promo. Yeah. He was like the Michelangelo. He'd be like, cool, dude. And yeah. then like, that was it. So so, so sitting there and say, listen, I'm going to listen to Rob Van Dam talk for like an hour. Yeah. It's kind of a weird thing to buy a ticket to. Yeah. Right? And yeah. I mean, it showed with the sales. It was not, I mean, it was, he's awesome, but it, like it didn't draw the way 
yeah we thought it would i yeah. mean we were getting like 50 to 80 people a night and just you know but you know but they were die hard like you know like they had the ecw belts and you know they were paying like 60 bucks to go see him for the vip and all that but mm-hmm. i mean it was fun but you know it's awesome that's on the well. Uh, thanks for joining us here. We've, we've been we've been having me. a blast talking wrestling even before. Oh yeah, be, they, we had the uncensored discussions beforehand, <laughs> and, and they and you know how censored we actually are in this show, so you can imagine. Uh, but anyways, this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can join us at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can drop us a line at that email address. Good times. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. Please subscribe to the show on your iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, or Google Music Podcast. Video versions on the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube and Facebook page. And, of course, you guys can join us live like so many of you are right now. Thank you for joining us there at the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Facebook page or live at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern is the new time for 2018. You can put that SmackDown on in the background. You can watch it the next day on Hulu without any commercials if you pay for that like I do uh, and uh, and everything else. And you can inform us in the chat to see if there's anything we're missing out on. Like I've noticed that uh, Bobby Roode just had, a, it was just Dancing with the New Day, which is something I never thought I would see. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can also, uh, of course, please follow us at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. And thank you to the people that do support the show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, including at the fan of the show dollar level, our friends Bo Diggity. Woo! Woo! Ed Burke and Bobby F. J. Town, as well at the Pocky Club $5 level. They get the Mayhem Show Gold and a uh, great story uh, from uh, Matt Light here. Uh, there, uh, of course, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Power to the Smarts on Twitter, and Christopher Bishop. And, uh, of course, you guys can support us even at the bigger levels where we get state of the shows and you guys get a little more say in the Mayhem Show. Go check out all the options over at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. So I want to start off, uh, uh, you know, we're 20, yeah, 24 hours-ish removed from Raw 25. Of course, if you didn't check it out, we did do a Raw wrap-up um, with our friend uh, uh, Heel Bradley joined us last night uh, that watched us here in the studio with us. So uh, we had some kind of immediate thoughts, of course, about it. Uh, but we're 24 hours removed from, from the 25th anniversary. They came from the Manhattan Center here and there uh the, the, everybody you can think of or didn't want to came back it seemed sometimes um i i i know i know matt you, you said you you had some thoughts on christian yeah i just don't know why he was there yeah <laughs> it's like it's like all right we have the rockers just kidding here's marty Janetti. <laughs> oh no like i just you know what i mean just, isn't it though like i mean like, we didn't want to see Christian six years ago when he was doing his last run. Now he comes back. Oh, the peep show. Cool. It, it, gonna- it feels like it's a, you know, Edge couldn't make it. He's filming in Dublin. Just couldn't make it for work. So right? can't he film it like Dunkin' Donuts or something? Just like, or like have like a commercial message like in between. He like, hey, it's Christian here. I'm obviously doing nothing. Uh, remember me? And then that's it. He would have been great in an APA poker match. Yeah, yeah, that would have yeah, been fine. Yeah, yeah. Him versus Heath Slater, the same person pretty much. How also, <laughs> why was that not the Brother Love show? Oh my right? god. Right? Right? Yeah. There is plenty there or, are plenty of people that showed up that had segments. Yeah. Well, you, know, you know what would have been amazing? Do the Heartbreak Hotel. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah, the Heartbreak yeah. Hotel. Okay. Like, All right. yeah, or the or even the King's Court. Like some like I don't know. I just loved how <laughs> that at Kurt Angle's door. Everyone was knocking and coming in, and it was getting like better and better and better and better. And then it's like, oh, there's the boogeyman eating worms, <laughs> for no reason. Like he's, oh, he's gonna eat worms. Oh, oh, he doesn't have money to bust a clock over his head. Great, he'll just spit worms out on the floor. Oh, also, why did the boogeyman knock? Why didn't That's true. he's learned some like, manners but, since he's been gone from WWE? But but he he the boogeyman should just appear behind everyone. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like. Like he shouldn't be come on knock on a door. Technically, he appeared behind the cameraman. Um, kind of. There, there's kind no, of. Wait, wait. There are cameras. No, that doesn't what? seem accurate at Maybe. all. Also, I, I thought we were getting a glimpse into into the real life backstage of Raw. I thought it sucked. <laughs> The whole thing. Oh, the, the whole thing. The whole, the whole show? thing sucked. I would, I would have given it an F plus. I would have been fine if they just didn't do the Manhattan. It well, that uh, was the funny. biggest problem, is because like 
I think they're so money driven that they had to use the Barclays Center as well because yeah. You could have made the sound better in the Manhattan Center because when everyone was coming out, it didn't sound like anybody was interested. But mm. then again, they had to watch two a lot, two o five for three hours, and and then they had like and the, they had to watch the rest of the show on the Titan. Yeah, show. in the very beginning, it was like, oh my god, we're gonna see so much stuff. Stone Cold just you know gave the stunner to to Shane twice, Vince once, and then it's like, oh, and in other news, nothing. They went to, and then like we wanted to see Razor Ramon, and you saw Scott Hall come out at the end, and then they cut the commercial break. I'm like, is he drunk again? Like, did, why did they have to cut the commercial? And then he came <laughs> back. It was like everything the, he was, was like 30 seconds or less. He was talking uh, during the commercial break. Was somebody, it during? Somebody pulled up a live feed on YouTube. Uh, also, we are we were we were on like the USA app. Feed, so that is super delayed. So I'm not sure if the timing worked out for that too. No, oh, really? no, so. the, USA Net, the USA Network cut off. Yeah, completely. But, which like, actually, like you, if saw, you, think, you saw him come out. You saw Scott yeah, Hall, yeah. and yeah. then Chris Lee knows best commercial. <laughs> uh, but, but also, I, I think you know what? Maybe that's a callback to back in those original days when WWE maybe wasn't so great at live TV and yeah. those awkward cutaways, right? Just like you saw. They also, brought back the original cameraman. They, with the I, did they really? No. The no. best part. I'm of, sure they're still they're working not, there. They're not good. <laughs> no, I'm sure they're still working. Literally, there, the best part of last night was the big Ico Pro banner. Yes, that was the best also, parts. Also, and, and thank no, you, Mike. No, um, no, right here, right here, uh, guys. The uh, yeah. silk stockings up next on USA Network sign at the <laughs> Manhattan Center <laughs> is my favorite because we have been making silk stockings <laughs> jokes for years on this show. <laughs> and there was also a guy who cosplayed in the Manhattan Center as Bobby Heenan in drag. Yes. I saw that. Yeah, that was good. That like that made my heart just feel really good. I'm like, you know, he finally he finally got in. Do you he think, finally got in. Do you think Vince Vince <laughs> intentionally goes, I'm going to get the most obnoxious fans out of the Barclays Center, and the way that I'm <laughs> going to do it is we're going to have a fake event at the Manhattan Center. <laughs> just a drama way. Yeah, oh, and they what? went all over there because that was like the diehards over there, and then after that, mm -hmm. it was just, they got nothing. It, it was, it, and there was, there, there was a lot of images, of course, of, um, you know, uh, 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 King and and uh, 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 Jr. sleeping. Uh, yep. for, they they got their naps in. They did get least. to see Bray Wyatt win his first match in over five years. That is true. That is true. <laughs> yeah. and, so. and, and 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 be disappointed that that's that's all they got out of those two. Well, I think well, they bit. got um, Brother Nero coming out after the match. Mm -hmm. Oh, did they? Oh, there's did a they? bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff that happened at the Manhattan Center that wasn't televised. Well, the Miz like, showed up like with the, the belt. Thing, yes, the thing I wanted to happen. The thing I said should happen. Miz took a limo from Barclays to the Manhattan Center to show off his IC title and then get beat down by Seth Rollins. Yeah. Huh. Like, why yeah. wasn't that on the show? That would have been so So there much was fun. a little bit of Wait, something. Why Seth Rollins? Uh, because Seth Rollins was a champion. And the Miz, when, he came, when Miz came in the ring, it was with uh, DX in the Balor Club. And he's like, hey, you know what I see in the ring? A whole bunch of not champions. Oh, mm. and he was like former IC champ, former IC champ, former IC champ. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Former IC champ. <laughs> He's like, I'm the current champion. And then Seth Rollins came out and curb stomped him. Okay. Oh, what's it called now? Blackout. Hmm? Sure, I'm still calling it. A is curb that what stomp. they called it though? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think, I think so. did you? Did, I know this is this is very tasteless, but did you notice that he brought that move back on Martin Luther King Day? And he also <laughs> used, and he Jesus. also no, and he also yeah. used it against Big E on Martin Luther King Day, like two years before that. Ooh. Ooh. I was, yeah, I was like, really? Like you couldn't couldn't have waited an extra that's week a, for that's that? That's an interesting choice. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, but no. Other than that, you know, and, and there were videos, of course, of people yelling bullshit at uh, at Manhattan Center. Um, they admitted on the the kickoff show on the WWE Network. That uh, the aftermarket for tickets for for Manhattan Center were up to eight hundred dollars, yep. and even as it is, like one fifty, two fifty, you know, people saw like it, it's. I did. I think. I think for the most part, I like the effect of them doing it. I think it would have been better if they went like we kind of discussed, like them doing maybe our Manhattan and then the rest. Then, or they yeah. should have just done the whole show at the Manhattan Center. Or they should have let the fans know what it was going to be. Yeah, be a little more clear about yeah. it. Yeah, they, they the, all they really said was Undertaker and Shawn Michaels will be at the Manhattan Center. Yeah, what with was nothing uh, else with Undertaker's dry entrance. Um, 
No, that, no, that's how that's how it looked back in the day. Right, but Bray Wyatt's lights went out. Yes, but uh, <laughs> it was an homage to when Taker first showed up on that's Raw. Terrible. Like if you watch the first bad. Raw, Taker came out with all the lights on and everything. He so. should have been wearing his gray. That's what I wanted with, to. Yeah, with, with with the, the, he should have had a hat with yeah, the dishwashing yeah. gloves. Yeah. <laughs> well, he he couldn't he couldn't wear the hat because he was wearing extension sorg. They could have been attached to the hat. That hair is still real no. to me. Damn it. <laughs> you look again at that hair. Mm. I've seen Barbie dolls with realistic, more realistic looking hair. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so so that is past. <laughs> and Tina just said Undertaker had some weave going on. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was an impressive. It was an pr- impressive collective of throwbacks. I thought. Um, even even if we did have the Hall of Fame style presentation, like here, look at all these pregnant divas. Here, look at all these old yeah. general managers. <laughs> Why? What? Why, why Why? did they do that? <laughs> well, they aren't wrestling, so that's for sure. But, yeah, it was like you didn't get much with a lot of them. Was Mick Foley there? Apparently, he was watching from home and, and getting commentary from his kids. Oh. Okay. So, uh, according to Twitter, which is weird since Long Island is not far away. Uh, well, I thought he was I was going to say, it's, yeah. it's not and that. Frank it's the Clown was at uh, Manhattan. Is he still dating the daughter? Was that the real Frank the Clown? Was it? I saw a clown. Oh, here's the thing: if, so, if you're gonna yeah, sure if you're gonna be an imposter for a wrestler or something, that's cool. <laughs> Don't but pick Frank, Frank the, the clown. fucking clown. Is who you wanted to be? Hey, man, he's I, date, he's dating Noel, so I mean, there's something aspirational about it. They're I, like, man, this is what I got to no, do to get girls. There's gonna be Short, seven no, Rick not. the Sign guys at next year's <laughs> Mania. I thought that was a bad uh, Doink impersonation. Like, <laughs> no, that wasn't. Or I didn't, or, I didn't or, catch the whole. Or an actual Doink from the Indies. Um, <laughs> we've seen them. I get so mad when he gets joined. They get they get announced as WWE legend, and you're like, "That's not doink. no, yeah, it's not Doink. Hey, doink Come on, Doink sleeping like yeah. That's yeah. the that was the guy from Match Two. Come on, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, and this and, and to me, the highlights were APA segments. Um, yes, you know, starting on the pre-show where they locked themselves out of the door. That was really funny. Yeah, I mean that 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 wait that happened on the back. pre-show. Yeah, that happened on the pre-show. Oh my god! I have to watch that pre-show. That sounds. <laughs> yeah, they told no, Dosh- I, My favorite thing about the APA segments, even back in the day, were when people didn't use the door and they would get so yeah. upset. Well, like, the, the hey, seg- come on, come on, knock. But well, Dasha was interviewing them. They were talking about how they made everybody knock, and then they th- then then JBL was like, "Oh, I I I I forgot I forgot the keys." We have to go find him and left Dasha to guard the door in all the empty beer cans inside. Well, WWE <laughs> likes to toy with our emotions a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, like hint do. and tease with a lot of things. I swear to God, if when the Miz came out and stared at Daniel Bryan and then won the title, if they don't fight at Mania, I'm going to be so <laughs> pissed off. Man, they just keep that doing, long it, game, and right? doing it and doing it. They, they're really playing the long game on yeah. that one. But now, uh, You know where they're going to fight at All In? Oh jeez! If only that. Um, you never. For those that don't know, those those maybe not not keeping up with it. All in is the name of the show that Cody Rhodes is going to run. Um, so Cody and the Young Bucks. Cody, Cody, and, Young Cody Bucks. and the Young Bucks. So think W or NWO sold out, but really actually not part of a company. I I feel like maybe it's they'll more use like bullet, it's more like Bullet Clubs all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So. Um, and that and it, we'll we'll keep an eye out, of course, for more stories there. But yeah, the rumors of like him going in, Finn tweeted, uh, just tweeted all in in this past week. So oh, whatever yeah. that means, <laughs> they, they could be something. They they could do something with that. Cody, I mean, it's not like Cody doesn't have a relationship with WWE yeah. or Ring of Honor doesn't have a relationship with WWE. Um, you know, plus you have things like Jericho showing up with his New Japan T-shirt, yeah, on WWE. So. Um, no, it, it's, uh, <laughs> this is, Tina, you're the second person that said something like this. That's I, genius. She says, IRS should have made an appearance, taking his cut of everyone's winnings in the, uh, in that poker game. Somebody had a very similar, that was, uh, I, uh, I love it. thing last night. And, and, and yeah, that's exactly right. And, and, and he's an agent. He's there. And then Bray's right? like, dad, can I have some of that money? <laughs> no, Bo. <laughs> Bray's fine. Oh, yeah. 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 Bo, Bo could use some help probably. Yeah, that's so, true. Uh, you know, that, that, uh, that, uh, uh, supporting role in the Marine, whatever, Maybe it isn't has run out by now, but anyways. Um, but hey, uh, we know what's uh, not run out yet, but very soon. Uh, shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway supporting the show, feeding our guests here uh, uh, here on Tuesday nights. 
uh, right up the right up the uh, uh, road here on Broadway, right along the tracks, uh, supporting per- uh, Pittsburgh. Po- I need some more coffee, apparently. Uh, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Ha! Got it out. Uh, of course, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, as well as uh, Carnegie PA and the new location in East Liberty. Please don't actually kick the door down, but go in and say the mayhem sent you. Thank you so much for those guys for supporting us. Oh, I forgot the show. They actually gave us um, something special. So we celebrate our, our 12th birthday last uh, last week of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Thank you, everybody, that... Uh, was a part of that, and we had a lot of fun with that. Or was that two two weeks ago? Wasn't it? My time is is completely goofy now. But we got uh, uh, today a uh, happy birthday slices from them. So thank you so much for those guys uh, paying attention to the show as well. Uh, they they're a part of us uh, uh, sticking around. So um, let's see. Is it late enough that there's not too many announcements for the Royal Rumble and SmackDown? Maybe that we can talk about that. Uh, Royal Rumble is this week. Mm. SmackDown is. Doing the go home show since Raw was doing something else last night apparently, uh, but uh, it, it's it's going to be a four hour affair. So get yourselves ready. Um, and but it's going to be in this time zone. So but it should gonna, be okay. Oh, okay, we, okay, that should be fine. Um, it, it, why does that make a difference? Because we're not going to be up until eight in the morning watching it. Oh, you're talking about Wrestle Kingdom. Yes. Yeah, that was a. That's why we had a slumbery party. For Wrestle Kingdom, because yeah. and yeah. you you wish that Wrestle Kingdom ended at eight in the morning. It, it did. did not. It, it did. <laughs> it, no, no, it, it did not. What? Didn't that go till like nine? No, no, no. no. It, it, it ended at eight, but it started oh, okay. at two. Okay. It was so it was like it was six hours of wrestling. Yeah. And we talk about the four to seven hours of like WrestleMania. Yeah. You know, it's it's a lot more interesting for Wrestle Kingdom. For eight hours, then what? Plus the three hours of t- uh, tag league that we watched. Oh yeah, we did watch three hours before. of tag league because we got here early. <laughs> that was uh, a full. That well, was a full work day. Well, we ate some ramen. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was a lot of wrestling. I, yeah, but anyways, uh, so Royal Rumbles this weekend. It's in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is getting all the cool stuff these days, apparently. Um, but <laughs> anyways, um, and and we're talking about before sh- beforehand, and I saw this like Google. I saw this uh, this this headline come up. Dolph Ziggler is a favorite now? Yeah, he's going to win. He's going to win. Everybody's calling it. just calling on him winning. Calling it. And I wow. have the That's best deep. way he's going to do it. Okay. One of two ways he's going to do it. One is he used to come out and do other people's entrances, right? What if he comes out to Daniel Bryan's music at 30? <laughs> and just dicks everybody <laughs> off. <laughs> just oh, completely. Or, or this is the other thing that I really... They will never do this, but if I booked for WWE... This is exactly what I would do. Dolph comes out. The last thing he's been doing the last few months is you you don't deserve me. I don't need you. Yada, yada, yada. No entrance. Absolutely nothing. What if Dolph comes out, right? But when he comes out, there's like four or five guys left in the ring, blah, 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 blah. 29 is like whoever the favorite's supposed to be, Nakamura or somebody. They all throw each other out somehow, some way. There's nobody left in the Rumble. So whoever number 30 is wins the Rumble. No music. Dolph comes out, walks in, looks at everyone. The bell rings. He walks right out. Doesn't say a goddamn thing. End of Rumble. Why? It's the best place to do it. Mm-hmm. It's Philadelphia. They'll be so pissed off. It would be perfect. <laughs> Listen, we got screwed in the Rumble. I just want them to get screwed on the Rumble. Well, I also well, they did th- get screwed th- on well, the Rumble. Yeah, they the had next the year. Rumble, that Roman one. Well, they, and so they get a makeup one? Why don't we get to? They paid more. We got, that's we, true. We, we got a holiday show. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. We got roadblock after we, that. We got roadblock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're building back up to it. That was great. Uh, you know, uh, that was wonderful. Um, yeah, it is it, it is kind of curious that they went back to Philadelphia so quick after yeah. that, you know, for Rumble. It's like, yeah. let's try this again. But they've been there a lot of times for yeah. big events. It's like the last that. three years, wasn't it? Didn't Reigns I mean, win? Yeah. Didn't Reigns win there? That was time Reigns, yeah. Reigns yeah. won. Yeah, the Rock came out to raise his hand to try to try to. Oh help. yeah, yeah. And they booed and, and he's, they, he's they, like, "What the yeah. hell?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really awkward. I mean, they're saying it's down to four people. Is is what the the because you can actually bet on this in Canada. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's number one is Nakamura, number two is Cena, number three is Reigns, and number four is Dolph. I don't think it's going to be Reigns. Because that match is already set in stone, I think. Mm-hmm. It's going to be him versus Lesnar. There's no surprise. He doesn't need to win the belt to do that. 
Uh, Nakamura, like I've already said before, I feel like the belt has to change hands at Mania. If Nakamura faces AJ, I can't see Vince giving him the title. <laughs> oh, can't see him doing the chat, it. From the chat, Carlin's is saying um, uh, Dolph wants that re, re- Mysterio heat. Uh, yep. <laughs> Alex Alex saying that he wants Jordan to turn heel and come to the come out to call to personality. Okay. Oh, why why didn't they have Elias play that at Chicago is beyond Ooh, me. Ooh, that'd be fun. Oh, oh man. Oh dude, that would that would be the ultimate though, is if Jason Jordan won the rumble in Philly. Mm-hmm. Like oh, they would they, 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 they right. They would have their own rumble. They would literally bring thirty members of the, of the audience to come in and just beat the hell out of the I'm waiting for I had this thought while we were watching Raw last night. I'm waiting for like, you know, everybody just shits on Jordan, right? Like the crowd is on him, everybody else is treating him like crap. He's trying to be a big hot shot, like I can do this, right? I think by or day after Mania, he snaps. And no, no way. It happens I, way before that. You think you think way before that, but I, I just, way before that. I, I think Jordan snapping and just going crazy could Where's the payoff for him so, though? Sorg. I think Sorg, that, you know what's gonna happen? Here, here, here's what's going to happen. I guarantee it. Jordan and Rollins will lose the titles before, like, or they'll probably lose at the February pay per view, Elimination Chamber, or whatever that is. Mm-hmm. Then, um, like, there will be a time where, like, uh, it will be when Seth has finally accepted him as his tag team partner, like, hey, you know what? We got, we got a rematch. We got to get those titles back. And then as they're staring down the bar, the exact same thing that Rollins did to the Shield. Jordan's Jordan does to Rollins. I'd like that. I'd like that. The like, exact same thing. Or what if they just release him? Just <laughs> <laughs> that. that would be perfect. Wow. Yes. Wow. Just get wow. rid of him. Just, no, but just, like, like, no, but I'm serious. Like, ha, like have Jordan <laughs> smack um, Rollins in the back of the chair and have Kurt play the, uh, the Dean Ambrose part where he looks completely bewildered, like what? My own son? What? Or what if? What if? If Jordan snaps, he goes like he just knew the whole time that he wasn't Kurt's dad or Kurt's son. So like, I knew the whole time. I just tried to get everything out of you, you old yeah, idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like that. I always love the idea of him being like a plant from SmackDown that somebody brought up a while ago. See that that would I mean that would at least make sense because literally a month or two months before that. When American Alpha won the titles, they celebrated with their parents in the audience. Mm-hmm. Looking back, did we at forget it, about that? Did that not happen? All of a well, sudden, I mean, it was I mean, his they, adopted, they adopted, adopted, pa- adopted, they adopted parents. parents. Oh my! God. <laughs> I, know, I know they look identical. So, looking yeah. back at it, they missed a huge opportunity with uh, Jerry Springer yesterday, mm. where they could have just had him do oh, "You Are yeah. Not His Father" mm-hmm. and basically have that's have hysterical. Jordan turn on Angle. I'm honestly, and I know this sounds absolutely crazy. I would not have been surprised if Trump showed up. Ooh. Would you have though? Like, would you be surprised? I feel like he yes. would love the attention yes. so at, much. At this point, he would no, have done I, it. I, th- I think they want to stay as far away from that as possible. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Even, even though they're they're completely close to it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Notice, notice even they're benefiting notice, from it completely. Notice, Trump did not pop up in any of those flashback pictures of no. all the celebrities they did show. So yeah, they're they're I think wisely kind of staying out of that rat's nest. Yeah, as they well. don't even they don't even talk about it during WrestleMania highlights. Nope, nope. Are He's we, gonna win the Rumble. Do, what, or Donald Trump? Trump's gonna win the Rumble at thirty. <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, uh, he's I, gonna win it at number one. Yeah, uh, Trump, circuit, Trump, Secret Service well, is just Trump's gonna, gonna be daze a new everyone. Cruiserweight champion. But he's two hundred five, right? <laughs> All right, all right. Real quick. <laughs> so so we talked a lot of speculation, but who do you want to win the Rumble this year? Oh. Let's go around the horn, Larry. Wait, what? I'm sorry, who I was reading you, Matt's comment. Who do you want to read uh, win the Royal Rumble this week? Who do I want are we to win? Bo- are we or? doing both Rumbles, men and women? Uh, well, we, we, we'll do the women's one. We'll do the men's first. Men's? Okay. Yes. Who do I want to win? Yes. Oh. You can do aside who you think will win as well. You know what? I would be okay with... Um, Shinsuke winning. I'd like to see him win. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Braun's going to win. Okay. I think he's going to clean house as a surprise entry. Hmm. But, okay. Okay. Kind of depends on where they put that main event too. 
Oh, no, they're, Rumble, they're, Rumble's they're gonna have going three matches. They're gonna have four matches. They're gonna have the ladies Rumble, yeah, yeah. and then the two World Championships, and then the uh, yeah. Oh, there's tag. There's tag as well. Is there tag matches? Yeah, there's a two out of three falls. Oh, there's really? Two tag I didn't matches. know that. Two tra- there's, there's two tag matches. There used to be a cruiserweight title match too, okay. but I don't know. Sork. Yes. <laughs> I'm keeping track of this. Yes. So what were Larry's answers Uh-oh. again? Is, is oh, uh, I would like Nakamura to win. I think Braun Strowman's going to win. Okay. okay. Uh, what about you, Matt? Uh, same and same. I want Dolph Ziggler to win, and I think he's going to win. Okay. I, I just I, Here's the thing. is like this. There's got to be a, a payoff mm-hmm. for him walking away from that belt. I mm-hmm. mean, it's not just time <laughs> off because the original plan was for him to still be at house shows, mm-hmm. and then they pulled him from him. They could have he, just had nothing for him that week. I see. <laughs> but for, for a month straight, why would they even give him the belt? Uh, it's basically been his whole career. But so. why would they give him the belt? Like, that's what that's if he would have never won and he was like, you know what? Screw this. Or he got screwed. I left like he him not coming tonight to go to Bobby Roode because the rumor was he was going to face Roode in a ladder match mm-hmm. like Shawn Michaels and all that. I just feel like, you know, he didn't defend that. If, if Roode's not defending that title at you know, U.S. A heel has to face. I feel AJ Styles, mm-hmm. and there's no heels because you have uh, you have Zayn and Owens. They're gonna they're gonna lose to him, so they're not gonna win the Rumble. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I think those two will eventually have a rematch or something like that with AJ Styles, which will split them up, and they'll face each other at Mania. So I think Ziggler's. I think Ziggler is the only guy heel. I mean, the only heel in SmackDown that can win. All right. What about you, Mad Mike? Uh, well, well, first of all, I think Owens and Zayn are actually going to win on Sunday. Oh, jeez. I, <laughs> I, I, I think they are. I agree. And I, I think, th- they I think are. they're going to have to decide who's going to be the champ. That's a big surprise for me. That would be a big surprise I, I, I for think, me if they I do. think they are. Okay. I think they are going to win. Right. All right. Uh, but for the Rumble, I want the Miz. Mm-hmm. I want the Miz to win it. I know he doesn't have a shot in hell, especially after winning the IC title last I'd night. love that, too. I, I want the Miz so badly. I think Cena's going to win, Oof. and it, oh. sickens, it sickens me. It sickens me to say that, but you shouldn't be just, so negative. Just, as a general want, I want someone new. Because mm-hmm. if Cena- I want someone, I want someone new, someone who hasn't won it before. Be it Nakamura, be it Miz, be it Elias. Like I, I want Ooh. someone new. Like I want someone new who has not won a Rumble before. Yes. Yes. I that, that. my want is Elias yeah. because they are giving him so much steam these days. Like he could be, he could be a next it guy. He's got a look. He's got a character. If you ha- if you have Elias win the Rumble, Cena beat AJ at the March pay per view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody, somebody put Elias on the Edge and Christian uh, podcast so they can rocket strap that guy. Okay, I I think he wins Money in the Bank. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, th- I, I think he wins Money in the Bank. So, like, so, so I gotta wait till the summer. Yeah. Got it. All right. I think he's Money in the Bank. <laughs> money, Money in the Bank. <laughs> Alex Card uh, says, "Who sooner. wants to run with the line?" Missed a little earlier, but, um, and uh, but uh, you know what? That's gonna be the same because I, I think I could realistically see them doing that with him winning the Rumble. Cena could be somewhere in between there since they've been doing a lot with that, right? Like at, at an in between pay per view or at Mania in some way, maybe in a three way, they could go that way yeah. with whoever maybe is coming in with the belt or Cena gets the belt somehow. You never but know. But do you think if Cena's going to win 17, he's going to win it before Mania? I don't. Has to be at Mania, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. So, makes sense. Um, he, he just says he has to get a title shot. Doesn't mean he has to have a real chance and, and have Cena in there. From the chat. He could also have, Wait, he could also have Cena cash yes. it in. To challenge the Undertaker. Your want was Elias. Your think was who? I'm I'm, I'm going same on both. Okay. Um, from from chat. Uh, first, Alex Carr says, uh, "Who wants to rumble with Elias?" <laughs> I love that. Uh, Matt Carlin says, uh, "Want Brian, of course." Think Finn. Daniel Bryan is somewhere up there in the odds too, apparently. Yeah. To win this thing. Yeah. Despite <laughs> supposedly not being able to wrestle, uh, Orton has a uh, surprise entry. Wait, what? Finn, oh, oh Finn I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Choice. Orton or a surprise entry from our friend Brandon in Kansas City. Oh, Brandon, you want Orton? There's a hey, ooh. some hey, the ooh. there's a lot of cheers when Orton comes out. You like, I know oh, us no. in podcasts. No, there's a land. lot of cheers when an RKO happens. Yeah, I mean, everybody loves an RKO. There's two ways everyone can win at the Rumble this year. Are you ready oh, to hear oh, it? Oh. Okay, the sorry, number one sorry, way. Sorry. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Matt says a money in the bank guitar case. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> Matt, oh, Matt. That's genius. That's, that's sick. genius. That's sick. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying, Matt? So here's what I here's here's what I do with my friends. I have thirty of my friends. We each get one number, mm-hmm. ten bucks each. Mm-hmm. If that if you draw that number, yeah. But I have number twenty one. So yeah. whoever wins, I don't care who it is. It could be Jason Jordan. If he comes out twenty one and wins, I'll be happy. But this is a fun drinking game for the Royal Rumble. I don't know if you guys have ever played it. Uh, it's a power hour. So every time a wrestler comes out, you have to do a shot of beer, and every time one gets eliminated, you do a shot of beer. So it's it's wait. So you've had sixty ish shots of beer, of beer, of beer. Yeah. Okay. And it gets really fun when somebody like Kane or Strowman come in because they clean house and they'll throw like five <laughs> dudes out. So like everyone just looks at each other like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and just, you just go. It's win win, and we have two this year. Yeah, just yeah. don't drive, please don't drive. Um, uh, another another fun drinking game to play of Royal Rumbles is if you watch past Royal Rumbles, play Alive Dead or TNA. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's it's a it's a fun uh, game to play. Like like Alive, like you drink you drink if they're alive, you you uh you pour one out if they're dead, and you just do a shot of whiskey if they've been in TNA. And before. after so many, <laughs> and after the two of those entries, uh, so many times, you just want to drink more. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Women's women's battle royal. Uh, I'm sorry. Real quick. Uh, 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 Alex. Alex, yeah, Alex says, go ahead. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Alex says he wants Johnny Gargano, but he's going Nakamura. Okay. I, I, li- right. I like the world you live in, sir. <laughs> uh, that is true. Matt, Matt Carlos points out uh, from that, that live show we went to a few weeks ago, Randy Orton is still very over in Pittsburgh. Uh, so let's go to the women's uh, Royal Rumble. Um, let's just say th- who you want to win because I, I feel like this is a new ball game. It's not as big yeah. as stakes. So they could kind of do anything they want, I feel. Because it, it, it's going to be... And we know what they did with the first first time thing with uh, Money in the Bank. So <laughs> who knows what they'll do, right? Uh, so, what do you guys think of for the women's uh, Royal Rumble? <laughs> I, I think I think the winner is the reason why they designed the first ever women's Royal Rumble. I think it's going to be Ronda Rousey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This rumor going I think, around. I think. I mean, she's down there right now training. I think she wins. Oh, by the way, a late entry for uh, Alex Cards wanting Drew Gulak to win the Rumble. They never thought oh. about the two hundred five guys being in there. That'd be amazing. Oh man! Oh, you'd have so many PowerPoint slides. Um, what about you? He'd Mike? have thirty of them. Sorg. He'd yeah. have thirty slides. What about you, Mike? What do you think for the ladies? Um, I'm. I, I said this before on a on a previous week's show. I want Ronda. I think Ronda Rousey is going to win, and then we're going to get Rousey versus Charlotte yeah. with horsewomen in each corner. Okay, that's what I think is going to happen. You you called it like three months ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. What I want to happen is I want Dana Brooke because Ooh. why not? Why not Dana Brooke? Because no one remembers that Big John Stud won the first Royal Rumble. We need the women's Big John Stud. And I think Didn't that's Dana. Hacksaw win? Uh, yeah, Hacksaw won. No, oh, Hacksaw, excuse she, me. She, exactly. <laughs> no one remembers. <laughs> no one remembers. <laughs> I, I love that he had point and example all in one there. <laughs> He's like, I don't remember who won. In his defense, those two did have a lot of similarities. Two, and to be <laughs> fair, the first Royal Rumble was a USA Network special. Yeah, and so. it meant nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they got on pay-per-view, that's when it was Hulk Hogan all over the place. What about you, Larry? Um, I want Nia Jax to win. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, But the big person never wins. Except for that one year, the Big John actually didn't Big John Stud did win it, didn't he? One Big Show won his own trophy. No, award. he did. That is true. That yeah. is yeah. true. Yeah, that is true. Um, Mark Henry did not. Baron Corbin won. I, I'm still trying to remember those ones. Uh, I want to go. I, I'm going to go Oscar. Yeah, I mean but she's never lost. She's never lost. I, I mean, you, I mean it's a rumble, so I, it kind of doesn't count for that. But but it, her just running through everybody. Wins the Rumble. This is a if there's no Ronda Rousey. <laughs> who, did, who does she face? <laughs> who does she face? Does she go after? Well, who, yeah, who's champion by the time we get to Mania? Um, I think. Because I don't think Alexa Bliss is going to be champion. No, 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 no. I think you need something more threatening. I think Nia wins it from Alexa by then. Okay. And then you have like Asuka's got her biggest challenge because I don't think they had a big match in. NXT. I think she choked her out. In one she match. might choke her out one yeah. time, and then they had that kind of injury thing happening. 
But but in the meantime, you have Naya just being more monster than she's ever been for the next like two months, going leading up the mania, and turn it into turn it into Hogan versus Andre to a certain degree. I think right? that match sounds like a lock regardless if she wins or not, though. It seems mm-hmm. like yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's going. going to happen. I, yeah. Not at Mania. When she has a title run, that will be a, a yeah. match. I, I see Asuka turning heel, though. Like, she's like after this past, after yesterday, like, she's she's going back to that cocky yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, NXT but champion. But I think you, you know? build to it, right? Like, she has to win the belt, have right, it but forever. She's, but not, not against cocky. Nia Jax. No, 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 no. Because well, she's a heel, go. too, you know? Yeah, she is. Uh, she is. I don't know. Would you cheer though for an undefeated champion? Wouldn't you kind of want them to lose? We had it for like a year and a half in NXT. Yeah, and it's a different audience. Yeah, it's a different audience, but it yeah. worked. Yeah, right. They yeah, had to retire it. But so did Bailey, and then after three months, it That's was like, true. That is all true. right, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So we'll see. I, I think it'd be interesting to see what happens with that. Um. Hey, you know those matches that don't involve thirty people on this show? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. Know right, that. Yeah. You, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know from from the, the stuff. Of course, we talked about. Um, I think was it you, Mike, that that said that you you thought that the uh, Cami is going to win the <laughs> WWE title. Yeah, I absolutely think that. So, I absolutely think that because uh, they have a pay per view to sort that out. <laughs> yes, they do. But I'm sorry, I just having the chat, just uh, some late entries here from the chat for the Women's Royal. Uh, Tom in there says Stephanie McMahon wins. Uh, <laughs> women's Revolution, baby, and Matt Carlin says Becky. I, I'm, I'm both could be interesting. Brand, Brandon says Nikki Bella. Uh, Nikki Bella. Alex said I, I'm on Alex's. He, he says he actually wants Carmella to win the Rumble just to have the title shots, all the title shots in the world. That could be fun too. That's I, awesome. Also, she has that lose too. and then win. I, man, I in could, the same night. I How awesome would that be? Running in a mania. She could run a mania and. She could just cash it in wherever she wants. Or what if Mania. she loses mm-hmm. and then well, afterwards it, gets pissed off, mm-hmm. beats the hell out of her, then cashes and goes, here's my rematch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, Mike, back to you for that. Uh, yeah, well, another thing that, could, that Carmella could do, if you have Bailey win the Rumble, mm-hmm. ba- Bailey beats Alexa Bliss and Carmella cashes in the Raw after WrestleMania on her friend of Bailey. There you go. Switch, switches brands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, th- I think they have a lot of room to do that. Uh, what do you guys think of the uh, AJ versus uh, Kevin and, and Zayn match? I think this is the shenanigans match that's uh, lower in the card. I think it's going to be humorous. I think Sammy's yeah. going to win, and they're just going to make him the standalone champ. I, and then that's going to be a Kevin and Sammy feud again. I, I yeah. think I think AJ wins, I think, because I think we've already seen the co-champions. Because when Owens was champion, it was almost like you know him and Jericho were both champ. We've just seen that eight months ago. I can't but see. But they, they were never in the same match together, though. No, so that's I, could, true. I could see Shane like that's way that's the way Shane's going to get his like revenge is like saying whoever pins him is the champ. But it, yeah. but is Shane more pissed off at those guys now, or is he more pissed at Bryant Daniel Bryant? I don't I don't is think it, you know what I mean. I don't think he, I don't both. think his bitterness towards those two is going to fade at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I He's think so there's mad. enough there's enough to go around. He's just transferring his anger over to Daniel now. So do you think what if Shane wins the Royal Rumble? <laughs> It's impossible. He goes on the top rope too much. No, that's true. That is true. That is, that is, Remember that, that shit true. in the video game? He that was the only ju- way he, you could throw them out? Shane, mm-hmm. Shane wins the, the Royal Rumble. Stephanie wins the Women's Rumble. There we go. A and McMahon in every Rumble. No, 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 no. I wouldn't, I Vince, wouldn't put it Vince past Vince wins them. the Royal Rumble. The Men's Rumble. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Again. Oh, no, that's right. And then that's has to the face Braun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at least that one told the story. <laughs> Yes, at least at least Vince winning told. All the right, story. so this one's going to be weird. I think we're pretty much universal on that. Uh, and of course, the the main event because uh, the tag matches are going to be the tag matches. We we talked enough about Jason Jordan. Uh, the triple threat with Kane. Please vote for me, Kane, Glenn Jacobs, uh, Brock Lesnar, and Braun Strowman. If this is not Braun Strowman's coming out party for the title, I mean, you can't unless you hit him with a truck that he flipped over the other night. I don't think you beat him in this match. That's not going to stop, Braun. I'm pretty <laughs> yeah. sure even if you even if you hit him with a truck, he's still going to come in before the count of ten. How do you? He's destroyed the set. He's flipped like larger and larger vehicles. I'm waiting for him to, to flip over a, a freaking airplane next time they do this gimmick. Um, I, like it's it's just ridiculous. An F5 is not going to stop him. Oh man, I can't wait to see him on Jericho's cruise and he just tips over the cruise ship. <laughs> 
It's like, I wasn't invited. Instead of iceberg right away, they're like, Strowman, yeah. right ahead. He's <laughs> <laughs> just, just like wades out of the water like Godzilla. <laughs> oh, amazing. Um, anyways. <laughs> yeah, was, so who, who, seriously, who do you think will win, guys? Win what? The triple threat. Oh, I think. Oh, Raw, Raw's triple threat. Okay, yeah. Sorry. I think Brock. I mean, I, I don't think you. This build up just is the end at Rumble. I think it has to go until Mania at this point, mm-hmm. and you just ride it. But I think once again, Braun looks strong as shit. But because it's a triple threat, he can lose by not being pinned. I Kane. don't know why Kane's there if he doesn't win. To take the pin, apparently. You yeah, that's think? what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? I mean, look at yeah. Hey, Brock I mean, no sold a choke slam from him. Yeah. Yeah. Like the Kane is the cruiserweight we stuck in here. Um, but anyways, we uh Kane gets pinned by Strowman, says Ron. Brock versus Braun at uh, at uh Mania. Heyman plays the Brock has never was never pinned card. Could be. Could be. That's what they did before, isn't it? What was that? When the last time Brock lost the bell, wasn't it a triple threat? No, Goldberg, no, Goldberg beat the Goldberg. shit out no. of him at uh, Survivor Series. That's right. That that's wasn't right. for the in, belt. In like two minutes. That wasn't for the belt. Not, not no, that a, wasn't for the belt. That when, one um, wasn't for the belt. No, Goldberg beat Owens in like 30 seconds for the belt. Yeah. How did Brock lose the belt before? It was Money he, in the Bank. It was Money in the Bank. Money in it the was bank. Money in the Bank. And he cashed in on... He cashed in on... Seth Rollins on, win. Uh, and he pinned Reigns. Oh, yeah, Reigns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He pinned Reigns, not yeah. Uh, Brock. Yeah. So, so it did happen before. Yeah. So... Hmm. Alex doesn't think that Brock's losing at Rumble. Um, I, think, I, I I don't think he is either. But I really want him to. I think if this, I, I think this becomes the main event, like the main event after Rumble, and this is the big news of the night is Braun winning that belt. So if Braun wins it, hypothetically, who faces him at Mania? <laughs> oh my God! The New Day are wearing Carmella themed singlets. Oh wow! On mixed match, on mixed match challenge, and they all have, they all have Cheetah toy print? money in the bank briefcases. Doesn't Big E wear that anyways? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's already halfway there. Yeah, yeah. After dancing with Rude tonight, she's new day. Um, all right. Anybody else have any any thoughts on this one? If you, if I'm curious if to we see, we don't him. have Braun win. Braun needs to immediately win the Rumble and destroy AJ Styles. Yeah. I, I want to like, see how the women's rumble goes because mm-hmm. if you watch them get thrown over the top, it looked really bad yesterday. Mm-hmm. Like they've never done it before. And I'm curious to see if Nia is able to clean house. Like somebody like big show can just hold them up and just launch them into the fuck. You know what I mean? I hope there's not a lot of injuries that come out of that. I I just feel like and we that's, lose half the women's division. Seriously? Yeah, no, I just no, feel really like it's yeah, something yeah. that's it's it's gonna look. It's almost gonna be like the video game where you don't throw them out, but you have to lean them against the ropes, and like four people push B at the same time mm-hmm. to toss one person over. <laughs> Could be. Oh, you're off. On your end, I think. Okay, there it is. There we are. I was just gonna make the comment that we addressed earlier that half the women's division was pregnant. So if we lose the other half of the women's division over the top rope, what women's division are we going to have? NXT. NXT and the Mae Young Classic. And Impact Wrestling's leftovers. Well, I mean, <laughs> we're, you have like 12 or 13 spots to fill, realistically. Can I do one prediction um, for the Mae Young yeah. Classic real quick? Yeah. For the what? Yeah. Mae Young Classic. Mark Henry's hand. Ah. <laughs> no, In no, honor no, of Mae Young. Mark Henry's hand Mark Henry's man. Wait, that, that's already happened. It's already won a match. No, 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 no. <laughs> no <laughs> We're crossing some streams. To happen. The tournament happened last year. No, no, no. They do another one. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So you say the sequel? <laughs> yeah, the sequel will be the I hand. Mean, is this is this like the Joey Ryan thing? Well, I no, no. I think the hand. <laughs> well, first, the hand is a guy. And, and put fingernail and, paint on it. Who knows? Uh, but, well, <laughs> I think the hand should be like opening ceremonies at least, right? In, yeah. in honor. Uh, I give you that. something. I you, give you that. You know what the hand is? It's Jazzy Gabbert in a green suit, except for her hand. Is that true? <laughs> 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 That's how I would do it. <laughs> no, oh, right. Unfortunately, Jazzy's not going to be wrestling. Yes, for a but while. you'll never know if yeah, she's yeah. in a green suit. You don't know it's her. 
This sucks that China passed because I feel like she would have been awesome for this event mm-hmm. for the Rumble. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. did mention her last they night. They did well, last I, night. Was... I think I think Karma's coming out. Oh my god, oh. that would be amazing. I I think I think Karma's gonna be like I I think she's coming out and like uh, Naya and. It's gonna, uh, it's Santino Morella. <laughs> Santino, <laughs> Santino <laughs> Morella no, wins no, it. Naya and Tamina are going to have to double team Karma to eliminate her. Roman Reigns is winning both. <laughs> He'll, find, <laughs> He'll find a way. Roman Reigns in a dress. <laughs> He's going to win. That's very weird. Both. Meanwhile, again, we are doing this show while they're, uh, SmackDown and Mixed Match Challenge and 205 Live and. And I don't know, something on MySpace is happening with WWE right now, I'm sure. Uh, but meanwhile, going on. elsewhere on the internet, this is what's happening. Carmella and Biggie are just eating pancakes and, together. And uh, Miz, Miz, Asuka did Miz's taunt during their entrance. Oh, that's wonderful. They're having so much fun with this. Look at all those it's likes. It's so amazing. That's like great. I, I want Asuka to join the Miz to Ross. 52,000 viewers right now on Mixed Bank Challenge. I'd say that's doing pretty okay. Uh, no, they have over 67,000. Yeah. Live viewers watching that, right that now. That pancakes really uh, brought what it, it up. What, what, what is it streaming on? Uh, the face, network? Uh, Facebook Fa- Watch. Oh, really? Facebook yes. Watch. You need a wow. watch. You, know, you, you don't need a watch. You don't need don't, a don't, watch. Don't, I'm, sorry, I'm watching it on my watch. Nope. I don't think that's okay, uh, but it is also on network afterwards. Okay, so if you yeah. want to see it without all the like buttons floating across, that's yeah. where you can do that. Oh, okay. So, uh, but it's also on, you can watch it on Facebook and everything, and just see horrible comments from wrestling fans. Um, Big E pulled the pancake out of his singlet and fed it to her. I don't know. Dave, I'm, I'm Dave, no, did, no, no. Did he Carmella figure? Had, had, no way. Had a pancake under her hat. Oh, good. Oh, good. Because otherwise, that's like an HR nightmare. Uh, anyways, we're going to talk more about awkward situations here after the break. Uh, but in the meantime, I uh, uh, want to sh- throw a, a shout to uh, check out IndieWrestling.us. You know what was the one of the fun things I was doing during Raw 25? And thanks to a friend of the show, John McChesney, that actually brought up a YouTube clip of uh, him. him uh, who did he fight? I know he was in the Master Lock Challenge, but he took on... If you go to WWE Network... Oh, Omaga. Om- Omaga. Uh, with the uh, other friend of the show that we've had on here. Uh, Armando Alejandro Estrada. So so the fun thing, fun game I get to play is to type in people I know to WWE Network. And there he is, John McChesney with, uh, with Omaga. There you go. Uh, you can do this, of course, with, uh, we were talking before the show about uh, Britt Baker. Um, we talked about Ray Lynn is on here, both uh, having very uh, fine attempts with Nia Jax, <laughs> let's just say. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun for us. To, the, and, of course, Elias on here as well. Uh, Johnny Gargano, uh, friend of the show. But you can see them before you can search for them on the on the uh, WWE Network over at IndieWrestling.us. You can see... Um, as we were talking a couple weeks ago about our uh, our one of our co-hosts having an early match with uh, Logan Shulo, now Elias, and uh, now Ring of Honor champion Dalton Castle. And, uh, of course, we got a bunch of new titles this weekend's IWC. Fallout is on there. Some great matches with Andrew Palace and Dylan Bostic doing great things. A six-pack challenge tables match is probably the most dangerous thing I've been ringside for with a camera. Very much. It, it, it's it was a lot of really ugly <laughs> things happened in that the thing. Those tables were not sound, um, which means it was an elimination match with six people. So at least five tables got broken. Yes. Uh, so that's up there. Digital download, video on demand coming soon this week, and uh, of course you can sign up for updates with Wrestling Mayhem Show and Indie Wrestling US Premier Championship Wrestling, International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, and so much more. Uh, let's check them out, and we'll be back with the big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. We are back, second half here, Wrestling Mayhem Show. And if you're an old schooler, this is the part where we take the second part of the, the, the show and you put it on a CD so you can listen to it in the car. 
still making that joke from the 12 year party uh but anyways <laughs> we seriously used to split the show so they could fit it on a cd oh really because we that was 12 years ago nobody had would you iPods. just ship it out no 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 we, we just in the stream you could download part one and part two okay because we still did like two hours of show yeah you but then you could burn it to a cd so you could listen to it on the way to work oh, cool because nobody had an, there was no iphone yeah so oh fuck what uh oh something happened um, live updates from uh, mad mike and poughkeepsie uh, so I just put on 205 Live with the closed captioning. Mm-hmm. The Cruiserweight Championship will no longer be a part of 205 Live. Championship? Just championship. Just tonight? Wow. Or like But they're they're going to be they're going to announce a new GM for the show, and that GM is going to determine what is what becomes of it. Lance Storm. So as of right now, <laughs> As of right now, there is no cruiserweight championship. Wow! So that leads into the question we were already setting up here. Two hundred five live. Obviously, there's some bad stuff that's been happening. At least two people have been um, involved in some legal trouble. Let's just say that we've had to retire a certain prop here on the show because of it. I'll just leave you guys for that listen to know what that is. Um, and and you know, it, it's just been weird, and it seems like it's a final nail when it's the person that's propped it up the most has disappeared now. And with that news, the big question is, what the hell is next for two o five live? You know, we kind of have a little bit of a picture here. Who could a GM be? Is a GM being announced tonight? I don't know. That's, prob- that's probably gonna be next week. So probably next week. Uh, and, and, and what is that future of it? Uh, you can give us kind of a GM idea or just generally that future. Larry, you had an idea. Well, after that, scratch my idea after what he just said. Okay. Oh, Missy has an idea. Producer Missy. I think that they should conglomerate all of their like new acquisition stuff. So, you know, they did the UK championship. Mm -hmm. They've got their 205 live division. They've got a women's division that they could completely just focus a women's thing and have it be this week. We're going to get a little bit of this. So it could we're, be like the experiment show. Kind of. Yeah. Like this is the this week. It's a women's action this week. It's it's uh, it, it, you could do. Yeah. Put it on. Put it on some decent formatting or kind of give a conglomeration of, of all of it and have, you know, at the top of the show, it's going to be the women at the you know, middle of the show. It's going to be. The 205 Live guys, and mm-hmm. you know whatever else they've got going on, mm-hmm. because again they've they've got enough content they could do it. Well, how long is NXT's episodes right now? Oh, one, roughly one an hour. hour. Why don't hour. they Why don't they make it an hour and a half and just make it all one? Because I feel like honestly, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, and it's just my opinion. But like every time I go to an event, like first of all, the, the most impressive thing about 205 Live is not the talent. It's the ring guys taping those damn ropes in 30 seconds. Especially on Raw. I've done that before. It does not take 30 seconds. Especially on Raw when they would have to do it, break it down, and then do it again for a second match. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they they don't do that anymore for Raw, though. No, they don't. But still, like, like that was impressive when they did that. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. What about you, Mad Mike? I mean, we've talked a lot about the past, uh, present, and future of 205 when we were doing Midweek War. Yeah. Um... So, uh, update, uh, they said the title is going to be held in abeyance. So, abeyance has another championship reign to its historic lineage. That son of a bitch. Um, abeyance has been the TNA champion, the universal champion, the world champion. Abeyance is, is, uh, has more titles hey, than Chris hey, Jericho. at least it's not that asshole vacant again. Didn't yeah, he? seriously, fuck vacant. <laughs> did he take the money in the bank from Mr. Kennedy, too? No, no, yeah. no, Edge did. Oh, oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Edged, 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 yeah. Edged. Yeah. <laughs> Abeyance for Money in the Bank winner 2018. <laughs> Royal, Royal Rumble winner. Yeah. Exactly. Although, to be fair, Abeyance almost always has the Money in Bank because they just cast that shit in whenever on whatever. <laughs> um, all right. So, what would I do with 205 Live? I would have. Um, they said they're going to bring in a new GM. I think the GM should be uh, uh, Corey Graves. Oh, Corey good. Graves. I like That's that. who I would have be GM. Um, he's a good. He's a good guy on the mic. Man, I don't uh, want to lose him as I, a commentator. I think they need a bad guy. No, you wouldn't. He's not on commentary on Two Hundred Five Live. He's not. 
But it, it doesn't matter. No, though. It, it would bleed over onto the other shows. Yeah, just as that's character. what I'm saying. Yeah, he's there. Know? He's there for SmackDown anyway. Because he's already doing a million things. So yeah, I would have I would have Corey be the GM of 205 Live, and um, if it, if it were me, I'd hold a mini Rumble on the pre-show this Sunday. Hmm. That's With, what I would do. I would get. Like I would a, grab some. Well, like I'll four grab wrestlers. NXT. No, I would grab. I would grab all, the whole roster you have there. They it's have like, about like, eight. Yeah, ten guys, they, like something. Right? Yeah, I mean, they're, no, they they're having a six man tag tonight, and they're having two singles matches. So that's ten guys. Grab two from NXT. Grab three from the UK. Boom, fifteen man mini rumble on the pre show for a new cruiserweight champion. That's what I would do, and I would give it to either Drew Gulak or Cedric Alexander. Mm-hmm. How fast can they fly Pete Dunn to? To, and just him, just like just, I'm sure he's already there. And just he absolutely, anyway. and just shit on the whole thing, and be like, "You've been a failed product since day one. You can't do this. You it's, can't it's do that." It's time for you us can't... to take over. Exactly. Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and that. almost make it like a, oh. you know, WCW versus you know WWF. Like, and like they kind of tried that though, didn't they? Did they? With, when with when, with uh, the younger guys Chicago. though. No, they tried that. Uh, kind of, like, you're talking about all the UK. UK guys against the yeah. 205. They did that uh, during one of the takeovers. They did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they that. did. The, no, no, they no, no did. it was on 205. It was on 205 Live when they were yeah. in the UK. They had the a kind of a versus. Oh. Yeah. So then you know they're going to do it again because WWE recycles everything. Yeah, yeah. And they tested it. So, you know. Um, uh, we have a lot of uh, responses actually from the chat. Actually, Alex Miller says, uh, My idea is to bring in the UK championship and Eric Bischoff as a new GM. Oh, my God. <laughs> God I love that. He's or back. Mike Tanay. <laughs> They got. I think they have to bring in a cruiserweight to do the to be their GM. Well, okay, we have other ideas around that actually. Um, Tina says Billy Kidman, since he's a former cruiserweight champion as GM. Yeah, okay. uh, is he still uh, uh, in the back? I don't think he's. He's not maybe? an agent. He was an agent for the longest I don't time. Know. Uh, Brian says Brian or Regal becomes the GM. Brian's already yeah. GM of the other so thing. So it's though. Regal. Uh, yeah, I, I would, Regal's I, Regal's busy. With I'd like to see. To so a, a King of the Ring tournament for the title. Well, I guess it's just a tournament at that point, isn't it? But uh, I yeah, I don't know if you could really call it a King of the Ring because then uh, you'd have to bring Neville back. In a perfect world, I, 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 in a perfect world, says JD, it would be replaced with the return of a weekly talking smack. Yes, oh, I would take that. There you go. On. But since they want to keep it, just bring in uh, Vicky Guerrero or something. I, had she had she gotten her degree she was working on yet? Because that's like she legit. She went back to school for something when she left this last time. Okay. So, Alex, no. Alex says, What does he want? Boogeyman is the Raw GM. (laughs) No. That's what I just said, Alex. Alex, No. I want Tajiri to be the GM. (laughs) No? Tajiri. Tajiri, yeah. That'd be good. I would love to see Tajiri be the GM. I was sad that he wasn't there last night with Regal. Was Was it Funaki? The one that would talk but wouldn't talk, like almost like uh, in, a in, foreign film. Indeed. Indeed, yeah, right? Indeed. Yeah. Um, that would be a great GM. <laughs> <laughs> the, be like, you are facing. The, the only downside to that is there's a lot of uh, guys on there that are Japanese who already speak it fluently. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it would be really neat if the GM, but like nobody understood what the GM was saying. That's Except really for those know. two guys. Except for the two. Well, but, or and, just and, one guy. They got all the title shot for some reason. Or just like one guy who understands Japanese perfectly but can't speak any of it. Hmm. <laughs> all right. We could have the anonymous 205 live general manager. Oh, no. <laughs> I tossed. <laughs> and I quote. Only it's from an iPhone. I tossed the question into Alex because he didn't hear the question, which is why he gave the boogeyman <laughs> as the raw general manager. So his response to the big question, Drew Gulak is the future of 205 Live. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. Uh, it Drew Gulak could be a general manager by PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Yes. Otherwise, (laughs) Dave Podner's in there saying Christian as GM and raise the weight to 225. Roman Reigns Ooh. wins the title. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't raise that weight to 225 because then people are going to see people like Finn Balor and be like, hey, wait you know a what? Well, well, Goldust is already weird. there. Well, I mean, if we're at 205, to be honest, I mean, most of these dudes are under 205. Like, mm. like Shawn Michaels was like a buck 80. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. he was never. I don't know. I'm just. So, yeah, so when you put a heavyweight title on them, you're just like, eh. yeah, you're like, you're, how heavy are you, man? Yeah, yeah. I, you could also have Nigel be a GM since he's already there. That is true. I think he'd be a good GM. He did it for Ring of Honor, for which, which leads to my answer. 
just play Ring of Honor from the night before. I'd like to see intergender wrestling. Well, well, and they well, won't do it. Well, okay, not intergender, but we're doing the mixed match. So no, it's, I want to see. You want to see full like Joey Ryan, Ryan style shit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would love to. See, why not? Why not? Like because it's it's like this women's movement. This mm-hmm. women's movement. Let them kick some dudes' asses. Mm-hmm. Why not? You're telling me Nia Jack's going to throw around some jobber from Minnesota some night? Like why not? Ellsworth. I want to see Oscar. Yeah, versus Brock Le- Oscar what? versus Brock Lesnar. <laughs> I want to see Oscar win the Royal Rumble, win the Women's Rumble, and say, I want Brock Lesnar. That would be awesome. Rousey. Book it. It's good to see Rousey do it, right? That'd be yeah. good. All right. Uh, hey, shout out to friends of the show. I know it's amazing when, to me when, when I had people, uh, the wrestlers from the wrestling shows coming up to me um, when we go to, go to film and saying they're listening to uh, Fishing Without Bait. Uh <laughs> It's a uh, it's a little bit of a mindfulness. That's kind of a hot buzzword these days. Uh, show, uh, it, but uh, you know whether you want to pursue a career in wrestling, like various friends of the show, or looking to generally change things up, it can be hard to figure out where to start. Learn to live life out loud. It's kind of how we started this show. Uh, and uh, check it out, fishingwithoutbait.com. We're having a lot of fun. A lot of great music is a part of that uh, these days as well. Some great stories being shared. So check it out. Fishing without bait.com part of the Sorgatron media podcast network. Uh, so we went over the rumble. We went over two Oh five live and the amazing stuff. Sorry, happening one, there. one more thing on two Oh five live. You know what? I don't want to see happen. New champion ricochet. Like right off the bat. Yeah. That's what I do not want to see. That happen. is a problem because we, we haven't seen the guys that have been there busting their ass for the last year. Like Cedric was maybe finally going to get it. And oh, that guy! Yeah, can't, he can't well, get. No, break, I, I mean, I mean, in general, like I don't want to see him on two hundred five live at all. You want to see him just just doing stuff in the main uh, roster, main <laughs> roster, main roster, or NXT? I'm like, curious about what his presentation is going to be in general. He's a smaller guy, isn't he? I think so. Yeah. Think so, mm-hmm. right, remember, not, not a lot of guys. Like, even if you look at like like uh, uh, Matanza and um, help me out here, the big the big mass guy. Oh. um... God. Why can't I remember it? Mel Martes. Mel Martes, thank you. They're big, but you're not like tall. Yeah. Like like if you threw them in there with a the bronze throwman, like they were gonna look tiny. Right? So you know. Um so takeover is this weekend. And yeah, Mad Mike is. <laughs> is the most excited yeah, about this. Is. He gets to go to Philadelphia himself and and uh, uh go check that out. Mike the only, it's the only bad part of that trip. <laughs> so so and I and I love this. So how many people how many times have we heard in the chat room, I don't know what's happening on Takeover. <laughs> which which in the lead up the shows have been great. There's been great matches leading up here. But what is happening on Takeover? Oh Sorg, it's gonna be a really good show. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a really good show. I'm very excited. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna start at the top because I'm not Drake. Uh Johnny Gargano versus Almas. Mm-hmm. I mean, right there, sign me up. And if you haven't seen Almas lately, like he hasn't been very impressive, right? Like through his career, uh, his match, uh, he, he's been stepping it up recently. But the last like two months of Almas have been amazing and very deserving as that title, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the past two matches he's had with Gargano have been awesome. Yeah, so that is going to be great. And of course, friend of the show, Cleveland native Johnny Gargano. Uh, being a part of that, that that's awesome, and, and to see him there, whether that becomes a title win or that becomes a a return of his partner, who knows? But uh, I think I think it could be both. Could be, could be. I don't know how much did Tommaso well, Ciampa well, have on uh, on on his uh, injury there. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa, I we don't know how long he has on his injury, but he congratulated Candice LeRae on being signed, and oh. I got very scared. I got very scared for her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you are you one Larry? I don't think you're following NXT. Matt, are, are you an NXT a little follower? Bit, little a little bit. bit. So, um, I don't know if you had any thoughts on uh, on uh, the main event. Uh, I think Organo wins. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It has to be. He's had a couple of losses and kind of goofy yeah. ones here leading up to it. Yeah, and that's usually the formula for yeah, winning yeah. the title. You know what I mean? So and 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 almost is good. Yeah, but he's not great. Yeah. Like he's got a future. Like they could do some fun stuff with him when he gets up to like SmackDown or something. But I think I think like I think it, I think it means more right now for the product for Gargano 
to be the face of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I think like he holds it for a few months and then I, I think he's gonna skyrocket though in, in WWE. Like I think he has all the intangibles. Mm-hmm. You know, but especially I'm, if you can, if you can have Gargano and Ciampa at the Takeover before Mania. Yeah, that would be, I mean, that Jesus. Would be Jesus, Jesus, have that for the title. Yeah, sign me up. I'm all in for that. Absolutely. Um, and what else is happening there, Mike? All right, so we have an Extreme Rules match because hashtag Philadelphia. Um, Adam Cole, baby, versus Aleister Black. No DQ, isn't it? Extreme Rules, Sorg. Extreme Rules. Wow. Extreme Rules. There's always there's always a reason why, though. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, there's always a reason why you make it, you know, Extreme Rules. So they can do X, right? Right, and I think the reason why is because Black has that that streak for how long is it now? Uh, well, no, no, he he's lost the match, but he's on. Isn't he on since then? He wasn't. He wasn't pinned, but he has been on the losing end of a match. Okay, I think that to make it them both be strong, somebody joins uh, the undisputed era and interferes and helps Adam Cole. Somebody you don't expect. I don't know who it is. I'm just saying. Roderick I bet Trump. somebody <laughs> runs in and joins, and that's I, how he wins. I've been, I've been like, I've had this like back in my head. Is like, so this is when Britt Baker comes out, right? Could you imagine that? <laughs> Could you imagine that? Let me find out. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, well, she graduated dental need, school, so yeah. you know, yeah. student era does need a female contingent. That's right. That's right. They did send. They randomly fed that one girl from May Young Classic to uh, Nikki Cross yeah, the one time. Con- well, did you see also con- that when when they were in Pittsburgh, they were all pointing at Britt. Mm-hmm. So who mm-hmm. knows? Maybe mm-hmm. she'll fucking just come out. And- I mean, she's there. She's always yeah. like, you always see her, you know, yeah. in the crowd at NXT taping. So you yeah, know. who knows? Yeah, I mean, she's in the, you know, no, no. I mean, she's been going to Performance Center for like three years. Yeah, like uh, for the the camps and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, but you know, so I mean, she's well, there. she she lives in both areas now. Okay. She's going back and forth. Yeah, from- well, well, Cole's down there. Yeah, so that makes sense, of so. course. So, um, did you see. By the way, I, if you don't follow Britt Baker's, it's it's fun because Adam Cole is just like, you know, the boyfriend on her Twitter feed, and there is um, he was the the her like mock patient or something, yeah, at dental school, and and they went to like the dental school the like snowball, snowball yeah. with them, and just like wow, it's like Adam Cole is a prom, it's amazing, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, it's 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 pretty cool, but and I think that was on her like main Twitter feed too, so. Uh, but it's, 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 it's fun for that. Good for, good for everybody. Uh, but anyways, uh, where, where, where were we? Uh, what, what else is coming up here? Uh, tag teams, of course, involved. Uh, Speaking of tag, yeah. Tag team title match. Um, in the spirit era, mm-hmm. uh, red dragon, Bobby fish, Kyle O'Reilly against the authors of pain. And I think that's going to be a steel cage match. Wait, really? Oh my god! I because it's that's what it said on the Wikipedia before that, but I believe someone took it down because spoilers. Well, oh, I guess we do have one more week of NXT though. Yeah, we do have up. we do have tomorrow's NXT. That's right. But um, I saw that as a steel cage match before, so um, yay! <laughs> <laughs> and we know because they like that, cages. That just sounds great. We know that we like they like cages from like it was weird to go War Games the cage though, but okay. Uh, well, I mean, but but you're good. But War Games wasn't for a title. Yeah, I have no. And plus, and plus, you could. This could be the Authors of Pain send off. It could be. It could be. I have no inkling or care of who wins this. I just want to see the match. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Me too. So yeah, I don't think it matters. What's a good spot to be in? Yeah. You know, it's just like I just want to see a good match. Yeah. And I know you're going to get it out of yeah, those yeah. four. So it's good to be. Um, wait, wait. Sorry, yeah. I'm giving you a 205 live update. Drew Gulak is campaigning for. Uh, 205 Live General Manager. Yes. And he has a big American <laughs> flag in the background. Yes. Does he have a PowerPoint? No, no. He's got a podium. Oh, that's perfect. Good on them for making the most out of this. Um, and then we also have the women's. Uh, Shayna Baszler against <coughs> Ember Moon. Oh, yeah. God. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I'm going to be so excited. I it's mean, gonna it's it's that's going to be fun. Uh, and Yeah, I'm it is. Gonna, yeah, I, 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 again, don't know who's going to win this. Looking forward to the match. I just and, don't. And also, Sorg, 
I, there's one other match too that I think is happening that was on. The, well, oh, hold the on a second, Matt. Before. You had a comment yeah. before we get to that. Yeah. I'm just saying. I think okay. it's it's so soon for that match to happen. Uh huh. So doesn't Moon have to lose? But there's not for it to happen that yeah. soon. Uh, Isn't it like a Kevin does, Owens, John Cena? She doesn't, she doesn't have to lose if she's going to be in the women's rumble next night. True. True. And then what is it? A call up? Yeah. Could, Do you know I what I mean? It, like, yeah, is yeah. it a call up where she's because I don't I can't see her losing then going to the rumble making some noise just to drop back down to NXT. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But well, I, that's I, what I, they, they I, did that with someone else, they, though. They did that with Rusev. They do. They did that yeah. with. Um, yeah, they did that with Rusev. That was Pittsburgh. Because mm-hmm. uh, we were like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" They did that with Ty Dillinger. Ty Dillinger popped. Yeah, yeah. Ty too. They do that. Yeah. They do that. And then, but uh, he got called up like a few Killian, months later. Killian Dane was in the uh, Andre Battle Royal mm-hmm. yeah. and just is doing amazing things in NXT. So, I mean, I wouldn't hold it against. I wouldn't put it against them to, to do something like that. So, all right, what was the one more match there? Um. Speaking of Killian Dane, I saw before that uh, Killian Dane is going to be wrestling um, um, Lars Sullivan. Oh, oh, yes. And Matt Carlins, that is your Haas fight of the night. Uh, so have fun with that one. <laughs> so, wow. Awesome big guy match is what that's going to be. So, uh, the takeover that's going to be Saturday night. I'm excited I can uh, uh, finally watch a takeover live and not have another wrestling show to, to film at the same time. So, looking forward to that. And of course, if you guys are here in the area, we are going to have a watch party here at the studio uh, in the Beachview neighborhood. Uh, the it's on our Facebook events. If you want to get more information on that and the address, and uh, we have fun with that. And uh, we would get a pizza from Slice. And oh, Bob, Bobby's saying it might be Roddy versus Lars. Oh, oh that's damn. less that exciting. Sucks. I think it already happened too, didn't it? But I, I thought I don't know. I might be mistaken. And then again, it was Wikipedia. So, all right. Well, it's that time of the show, guys. What did you learn from wrestling this week? How much I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the right show. <laughs> like, cause it's like it's like this Monday. Like they they had an alley oop. To make this event amazing. They did great in the ratings, by the way. Uh, yeah, of course they did. Because the first three minutes was the whole thing. And then after that, it was like, oh, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? <laughs> to be clear, Not- the first 23 minutes. Is that how long that's that how shit long took? That, that's how long yeah, that was. That was a long Vince, segment. Vince is amazing, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I just love the fact that they kind of took, like, they broke character. Like, mm-hmm. where it was, oh, Stephanie's the daughter now. Stephanie's not... The you know head bitch in charge and and you know Shane's not uh got this chip on his shoulder. It's oh it's daddy, daddy. He's like you want to give me this plaque. You know I just thought that was awesome. But mm-hmm. other than the Stone Cold Stunners, they, man, it just made me realize they Preston had a sucks. GoFundMe. These millionaire kids. Oh yeah, started a GoFundMe. But doesn't that make you hate them more? It does. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So good. Absolutely. Spe- it was good. Speaking of Vince, what I learned this week is that it took twenty five years for him to finally take a correct stunner. That stunner he took last night was better than any stunner he's ever Linda taken still before. hasn't learned. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's because that's because Vince can't physically move now. Yeah, but yeah, he, did that, you? He, he bent. Physically he move. bent his knees. He didn't like go down like a plank. Right, right. Because he's not trying to oversell it. Because he probably can't as much anymore. Right. <laughs> and meanwhile, you think he just claps? Like, And meanwhile, Austin is like not free willing, punching you, really punching you. Yeah. He's like actually like, all right, I gotta not try. He, he's seventy. I should probably not kill the boss. I think on that second stunner on Shane, he kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, probably. I, 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 <laughs> I love it was to, a low, low kick. Shane totally did the sh- uh, the the rock where he just spit oh. the shit out <laughs> immediately. Like, <laughs> it was good. That was good. But the rest that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> the Undertaker literally came out and just that just so that awful. he could be like. Hey, I'm the Undertaker, uh, and I know none of you still believe my brother is Kane, but he is. Have a good night. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what did you learn, Mad Mike? Uh, I learned that WWE needs to stop spoiling things. They, like they need. I learned that WWE doesn't know the fine line between advertising and spoiling. Okay, w- which case and. Uh, all of Raw 25. Okay. Because the, there was only one person that I did not know was going to be there that showed up, and that was Terry Reynolds. 
She was on the thing to be there. Yeah, I heard about her. Well, yeah. then there we go. So there was no one there. But I think that's just to guarantee all the nostalgia watchers will be there. The same reason but, why the Rock's at WrestleMania. You know, he's get. You know what I mean? These I, guys who wouldn't be watching would be watching. If I said, "Hey, Monday Night Raw has a bunch of surprises," my dad would be, like, "Yeah, here's a surprise." I still don't fucking care, Matt. But, but if I all said, you, "All you need to do, all you need to do, is advertise three guys." Austin, Sean, Taker. That's all you need to advertise. Mm-hmm. You yeah, didn't I need agree to tell with me that. that. There was going to be a parade of former women's wrestlers. You didn't need to tell me that the freaking boogeyman was going to be. But there. would you have marked out that hard anyway, seeing Jacqueline with or without knowing she was there? Well, no, not Jacqueline because she was just at the Hall of Fame last year. But others, yes. I I, I marked out on Brother Love more than anybody. Tori <laughs> Wilson show. still though. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like I was sitting there with my girlfriend and she goes, Oh, d- was she a good wrestler? I'm like, shut up. Just yeah, she's just, she's the best wrestler sure. of all time. Her, <laughs> her dog had a finishing maneuver called the Tush Push. Oh she did. Yeah. 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 That's great. Oh uh, boy. Um <laughs> From the chat room. Wow, that's a, that's a long one. Uh, Bobby Bobby of Chaytown learned that his friend took his six year old daughter with him to watch wrestling this weekend. His dog groomer wrestles, which he was attacked in a backstage segment, which prompted her to yell, "Why are they beating up our dog groomer?" Which made my weekend. Also, there was a guy named Chubby Daddy that wrestled. He went to Phoenix Pro, I think, in Johnstown or Altoona or something. Um, this was what he he chose instead of IWC, uh, but. <laughs> Anyways, Brandon learned that they need to have weekly lip sync battles. If you guys didn't see the Triple H, um, what was it? A song from Mona he was singing? Moana. 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 Oh, yeah, he um, killed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I want to see Triple H and The Rock perform all of Moana now. There you yeah, go. Just the entire movie. Just the entire That's movie. That's something they it. can do with uh, with the 205 Live there spot is, is uh, uh, WWE lip sync battles. I mean, yeah. it's like, you know, sure. Uh, Absolutely. Alex Miller learned that Lucha Underground can't come fast enough. Come on, <laughs> season four. True. Come on. This is also true. Yeah, I can't wait to start that podcast back up again. Um, <laughs> also, uh, Dave, Dave Potter says also WWE has a stricter policy against abuse in the U.S. Congress. And moving on with our comments. <laughs> uh, PMS. To you, uh, PMS. Oh, Political Mayhem Show, by the way, is doing a live stream. It's on the Sorgatron media feed. We talk about Pollock's Politics, Politics for Politics? wrestling fans. <laughs> Pollux. Jack, 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 Jack Pollux. Jack Pollux. Pollux. Pollux Troy. Jack Pollux. He's not employed by w- IWC anymore. I, That's who we talked about. So we, we He's hired got him. the perfect build, though, doesn't he? Not like like wrestling wise. Pollock. Jack mm-hmm, Pollock. Mm-hmm. I feel like he's going to. He's going to do all right for he's himself. He's going to do all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah, doing yeah. fine. He he's was, doing fine for himself. He was. He was. Built like a Logan Shula back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know. Now look what he's doing. Shula used to be a skinny. Hey, when you get to the performance center and like they actually teach you how to like. Do steroids? D- d- <laughs> <laughs> presented without comment and moving on. Uh, <laughs> no, they, they only teach that to guys they want to win the world title at WrestleMania from Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Uh, no, JD, says, not- JD no. says he learned that Scott Hall's toothpick throw has the same effect as the HBK super kick and X Factor. That's right. Everybody's doing finishers, and we just got a toothpick from Scott Hall. But well, let's, let's, let's be honest. He's not going to do a No, no, no. Action. That's all we need, and that's all we want. Let's be, we we've all seen the resurrection of Jake Roberts. That's all we want from Scott Hall. Is is X Pac over or under 123 pounds now? I think he's under. Oh, did you see how little under. his legs were? Mm-hmm. He's a little dude, man. I think he should get take a shot at the cruiserweight division. He, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he was there. Saying, it is. He was saying he's in better shape now than he has been in his entire life. Probably. Yeah, and um, then he got busted. He literally said that, and then he was supposed to make an appearance. And he got in trouble for for having narcotics on him. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think through an airport, wasn't it? Yeah, yep. yeah. So hey, if you want to get in shape, he fucking do drugs. That's what he's saying. <laughs> wow. Uh, Wheels says that he learned that uh, you can use a kitchen sink in a fan. Bring the weapons match. Well, I can't wait to edit that match now. Uh, I, I just had to get through the King Kalua match first. But anyways, what what's up? Uh, I think Hideo Tommy has a new finisher. Oh yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a code breaker. In Everybody's other words, doing it. Hi, um, hi. We can't use yeah. to go to sleep anymore because he's killed people with yeah. it. Yeah, it, yeah. Lo- it looks like he cracked Jack Gallagher's orbital socket doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He did legit. 
Uh, and uh, Billy learned that uh, Jericho can steal a three-hour, 20-minute show with a 60-second spot and a guitar, actually. Uh, but Alex Carr has learned that WWE can still work jabroni marks into a shoot brother. True. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. I learned... I learned that ta- six-man table matches are freaking dangerous, and I learned that the commentators at IWC um, care more about my safety than our other cameramen. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Nick and Chris LaRusso, for that when I was uh, back editing. Uh, so, <laughs> And Alex thinks we're talking about Jackson Pollock, hashtag Art Mayhem Show. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I didn't finish the plug. Political Mayhem Show is something we're doing with friends of the show. BC Steel and uh, Burt Legrand. It is a politics show where we um, talk about politics in- with pro wrestling speak to help translate to you, the wrestling fan, politics. Um, I need that. So we found some people that can do it. We're doing our second beta episode tomorrow at 8 p.m. on the Sorgatron Media live stream uh, Facebook page. So please go check that out. Or check the first episode out in the Sorgatron Media Master Feed on your podcatcher. Um, Matt Light, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. I had fun. I hope I didn't good. offend anyone. Well, that's, I, I mean, did. it's what we do. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> I'll be back. It was on the threshold. It's good. It's good. Uh, where can people find you online? Is there anything they need to check out? Yeah, you can find me uh, at... Matt Light Comedy on all of my internets. Uh, and this Saturday, I'm headlining at the Comptra Theater in uh, Cranberry. I got two shows, 7 o'clock and 9.30. And my next big show, I'm with Chris Stefano uh, at the Pittsburgh Improv March 1st through the 3rd. He's from MTV Girl Code. There you go. That's it. Go check it out. A lot, a lot of fun on your Facebook feed. You like to go live on Facebook a lot. Oh, yeah. James Harrison. Did you see that one? Oh, I didn't see that one. I ran it about him getting traded or, or I mean, released and signing with uh, New England. It has, on my page, 600,000 views Holy and God. overall 2 million. Wow. It's pretty good. Nice. Pretty good. Yeah. Nice. A lot yeah. of fun stuff going on. Yeah. Larry is the opposite in connectiveness. You, you will find me on Twitter at... Mutilator Larry. Mutilator yeah, Larry, Mutilator sir. Larry. He has people for that. I have people for yeah. that. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I can't wait to be able to plug something for him in the near future. Be, be <laughs> patient. It's be patient. There. It's coming. There's a lot of groundwork, but we swear he does things except wait. for talk about wrestling. Is it loading? And you might learn it's his a, real name. <laughs> what? Is it loading? It's loading. Yes. I, it's loading. I, I had to plug it into the phone jack. It's, it's been. So Larry must have a really good job. <laughs> we'll tell you if you're fair. going by Larry <laughs> it's unique he's either he's either a male escort <laughs> he goes by the name Girthquake at night <laughs> coming to the stage playing Girth Wind and Fire it's Girthquake oh god <laughs> show title hashtag Girthquake I really hope your girlfriend's watching like, right now if not completely... we're gonna send uh, this clip uh <laughs> I'm texting her right now. Mad Mike 483 <laughs> on the Twitter and of course hashtag MM if he's uh, commentating on the Mayhem Show feed as well. Oh jeez. And yeah, see, him, see uh, him in person in Philadelphia. Also, yeah, if you see me in Philadelphia and address me as Mad Mike, you get one free chop. That's that's just a rule. Yep. It's just yep. a rule of thumb. I'm gonna fly down to WrestleMania just so I can chop you. Okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna get. I'm gonna you know, hitchhike we, back. You home. know, we can just go to Poughkeepsie. It's a lot easier than going to New, Jersey, to New Orleans. I oh. mean, by the way, yeah, wait, wait, also, wait. Real quick, real, real quick, because we've gone way, way too long. Uh, uh, Larry went to New Orleans. I did. Uh, very specifically to scout the area for WrestleMania. That for is us. exactly why I went. Yes, to New yes. And how is it looking down there? It is looking barren, but I think it might be a lot better now that the Saints are out of the Super Bowl running. All right, that's good. You said so, the banners for WrestleMania already the up. The banners were already up last wow. last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Um, no one knew about it though. <laughs> And what? like I asked my Lyft drivers, like I, I just was just we were just talking about it around town. No, you can't get care. a hotel. I, I've been looking. You can't. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I'm sure. I'm Airbnb sure. though is the way to go. Mm-hmm. If you get like six people, it's it's really cheap. Don't tell anybody. Don't listen to this. Don't do it. Because <laughs> I I didn't book my shit yet. Okay, don't do it. Uh, we'll, we'll just wait for the, the, the delay. All right. Thanks. Oh, uh, and of course, producer Missy is being awesome. Yes. I just have to point that Tina's. Commenting about Y2J can rock an NJPW shirt on WWE show is one is one thing she learned. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I mean, love the fact. Technically, 
It's just his brand. Yeah, that's yeah, not. That's not. Gonna, brand. Gonna, it's just him. His pro wrestling T-shirt. That's not. That's not necessarily a New Japan shirt. Oh no, no. it's just. Yeah. Oh no. I was a fan of the shirt that Elias was wearing. Oh, oh yeah, the yeah. Johnny Cash flip off shirt. Yes. Yeah, but they, they yes. kept a nice out of the shot, not close enough that you could actually see oh, it was what was going on with it. It was very everything. wide. It was, but it, yeah. yes, yeah, so. it was that. It was that Stone Cold cut off his hands shot uh, from from earlier in the show. They didn't so. blur his fingers. They out didn't blur it, either. but. But they, they were always out of frame once no, he got were. extended. Yep. Most of, most yeah, of the most time of, they were. Yeah. After we started kind of noticing it, it was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what they're doing. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, chat room, hopping all night. Tina, Alex, Bobby, Brandon, and the whole crew. I, I we, we, we were hovering around 20. This is a, this is like one of the highest uh, uh, viewed shows I think we've had live here. So thank you so much, guys, uh, for being a part of this. We'll see you guys next week. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.